All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So in about 10 to 11 hours from now, the LR Tapion and Minosha banner will be dropping on the global side of the game. And before that happens, I want to make sure to fill you guys in on all of the relevant information you need to know about them from their unit details to uh, the featured units on their banner, their super attack animations, their new category, and all that good stuff to help you guys decide whether or not you want to spend your hard-earned Dragonstones to try to pull them or to continue saving for, you know, other things in the future, namely the 6th anniversary, which is starting in less than 3 weeks from now. Okay, so with all that said, let's jump right into it. And uh, we have the banner here, of course, from the JP side, but before we get to that, Let's actually pop over to the official Dokkan Twitter page where we can watch their animations. So let me pause my own music real quick and turn up the volume just a little bit. And here we go. Enjoy. Innocence will perish on my watch. This sword in Ocarina of Legend, I will fulfill my duties. Man, it's just so good. It's just so good. Like, for me personally, I'll be honest, it doesn't matter what the unit does. It doesn't matter what the, what the banner looks like. It doesn't matter what the new category looks like. I'm going to have to summon just because I love everything about this unit, man. Um, of course, I like Tapion a lot as a, as a character. Um, Wrath of the Dragon is one of my favorite Dragon Ball Z movies of all time. Um, the OST, the OST for this unit with the Ocarina is just one of my favorite OSTs in the game. Probably top two. It could be my favorite. I'm not really sure right now. I got to think about it for a bit, but it, it's top three for sure. And the animations are very good. Not the best I've seen, but the active skill is probably my favorite active skill animation in the game right now. So it's just, it's so good, man. Everything just looks so clean. It's beautiful. So like that gets an A plus from me easily. All right. But that, that of course is only one aspect of a of a unit. Um we gotta go over the other things too. So let's move on from here. Let me actually turn on the music again. There we go. So yeah, moving on to now the banner that we can expect to see on global. Um it should be the same banner as the JP banner. This was the JP banner. I don't really expect any differences. There really shouldn't be. So let's scroll down to the bottom. We have all the featured units. And as you can see, a lot of featured uh, SSRs, right? We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 featured SSRs. Pretty standard for a uh, legendary summon banner. And aside from the main featured LR, everybody else is... Um, you know, available on pretty much every banner in the game, right? They're not featured, but they are summonable or pullable on basically every banner. And even though we do have some good units here, right? We have like this Tapion with the EZA. Very, very good. By the way, it doesn't seem like we are getting the AGL Tapion EZA with the release of this banner, which was a little bit strange to me. It just would have made sense, you know what I mean? But maybe, maybe we'll see something about it in the news later tonight. I didn't see anything about it on, on the Dokkan Wiki, but um, I'm still holding out hope, okay? I still think we might get this EZA within the next week or so. But we'll see, we'll see. Either way, with the EZA, this Tapion's extremely good. This Trunks and this Trunks, but this Trunks especially, 
amazing with their EZAs. And yeah, like it, there's some good featured units. Like this Trunks and Mai is also fantastic. So don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that the other units are not good. I'm just saying they're not that hard to get, okay? And as far as value goes compared to like a Dokkan Fist banner, it's very, very poor, right? Very low value. Um, but that's like every legendary summon banner. So nothing new here. I would say this banner gets like a 6 out of 10 from me in terms of value for your stones. So let's say like an anniversary banner or a download celebration banner is a 10 out of 10. This would be like a 6. So not terrible, but really not good value. Okay, like you should think twice before putting any stones into legendary summon banners. But that being said, the new LR is fantastic. Okay, they're a very, very good unit. And uh, of course, I did talk about what they do in my video from yesterday, but in case you guys missed it, wait until the end of this video where we'll go over their uh, kit, their details again. Okay, but there's the banner. Not much more to say. Some good featured units, but it's still a legendary summon banner at the end of the day. I guess the highlights would be, of course, Tapion and Minosha. Um, this trunks right here, this trunks right here. This guy with the Dokkan Awakening actually is also pretty solid. Um, she's a good support for Realm of Gods, of course. Uh, and then these guys were like Future Saga. Very, very hard hitting TUR actually. Um, I don't think they're on the top 10 list anymore, but for a while they were actually part of the top 10 hardest hitting TURs in the game just because of that ridiculous active skill they have. And um, Danya's not bad either, actually. She's she's okay. So that's the banner. Mm, not the greatest. And now we're going to move on to this new category that's called Storied Figures, right? So these guys do bring a brand new category with them. And sometimes when it comes to new units, if their new category is really good, then it might be worth summoning for them just to run the new category, right? But in this case, that's not quite, you know, true because um, I don't think this storied figures category is actually that good. Um, by the way, the description we have is consists of warriors who died or were sealed in the past. Of course, this is not the official description. This is just the, um, I guess, description based on like what people, like the units people see. But it's not like the official Bandai description. But either way, this does pretty much fit everyone that's in the category. So. We have, of course, LR Tapion Minosha, which is the leader. And then for the rest of the units, you guys can take a quick look. It's not really that powerful of a category. And uh, it essentially consists of Bardock and his crew. We have um, Bojack and his crew. We got a couple of uh, Boos. We have a couple of Demon King Piccolos and PyCon, and that's pretty much it, I guess. Um, fairly limited category. Overall, I think there are about 30 units or so, maybe a little bit more, maybe 35, 40, I don't really know. It's, it's not like tiny, but it's definitely not substantial either. Um, so let's see, yeah, I mean, when it comes to team building, you can definitely do like Bardox crew if you want to. Of course, you can use multiple Tapions. Well, the LR Tapion and one of these Tapions. Um, actually, no, I'm pretty sure you can run these Tapions together because this one is Herudagarn. There you go. So you can actually do three Tapions. And aside from that, yeah, I don't know. It's just not going to be like a super powerful category. Um, and, and I wouldn't summon for this unit specifically just to run the category, if that makes sense. Uh, so that is storied figures now moving on to the unit itself and talking about what they do We have their leader skill is storied figures or siblings bond category key plus three HP attack and defense plus hundred and fifty percent 12 key super colossal damage and lowers attack and defense and ultra super Greatly raises attack and defense causes for one turn by the way. No, sorry. No greatly raises attack for one turn no defense causes mega colossal damage and massively lowers defense. And then the passive is attack and defense plus 130%, story figures category allies key plus 2, attack and defense plus 20%, and sibling spawn category allies key plus 2, attack and defense plus 
medium chance of launching an additional super attack when performing an ultra super attack reduces damage received by 13% within the same turn with each super attack performed. And their active skill is two heroes can be activated when there is a storied figures category ally and a sibling spawn categories ally self-excluded on the team starting from the fourth turn from the start of battle once only and the effect removes all allies negative effects and all allies keep plus three and attack and defense plus 20 percent for two turns and links are hero experience fighters brainiacs cold judgment solid support fierce battle legendary power and categories are joint forces movie hero siblings bond and storied figures so that is tapion and minosha um definitely a very very good unit in my opinion and uh, oh, one thing that I didn't mention, of course, is that they also are a sibling spawn category leader. So even though storied figures is not the best category, you can combine it with sibling spawn to run a better team. But still, I, I just don't think their leader skill is enough to justify. At least their leader skill alone is not enough to justify summoning for this unit. Um, but all the other aspects of this unit the animations, the great passive, the amazing, amazing active skill. This this active skill, honestly, I think might be might be the best active skill in the game, or at least top three, because you know you have bigger buffs for like uh, other units for themselves, right? Like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, for example, or LR Blue Boys. They do get a much bigger buff, you know, for for their own. Uh, passive but this is just such an amazing supporting passive with the removal of negative effects and then the support for two turns i just think is extremely extremely valuable and um when it comes to the condition it's not really too bad of a condition you do have to build the team a little bit specifically but it's not like you have to tailor the entire team you just have to have one other unit with storied figures and siblings bond right so it's not too bad in my opinion and uh, their links are you know it's not gonna be easy to link them up too well with like a lot of other units but of course when it comes to tapion which is you know who you should be linking them up with uh they'll share a lot of links right and uh i guess one knock against them is that they aren't in a lot of categories um so when it comes to team building they might be a little bit limited but for the most part you want to run them on siblings bond or story figures anyways right so or movie movie heroes also works so there you go but uh, yeah i just i just really like this unit man i think they're very good uh on offense on defense for support obviously um it's not really much negative to say about them you know just a really really good unit but there is one major factor to consider, like when you're thinking about summoning for anything right now, you know, not even just Tapion and Minosha, like just spending stones in general. Just doesn't seem like a great idea. It doesn't seem like a great idea. Um, and if this was like a normal time of the year, if this was sometime in March or, or whatever, you know, when we don't have anything major on the horizon i would say yo drop a couple multis for them you know it's still a legendary summon banner so i still wouldn't recommend too many multis but maybe do like two or three at most see if you can get them because they're awesome but with the anniversary coming i gotta recommend a hard skip guys i gotta say just skip and save your stones like skip just skip <laughs> i mean i'm saying it a lot i know but I'm just trying to get the point across that like it is very very important it is very crucial that most people who are not pay to play players who are you know free to play need to save their stones for this anniversary man and on top of that we also have the download celebration or the worldwide celebration coming up in a couple of weeks or sorry a couple of months in like august slash september so that's also going to be you know a, an amazing time to summon so tapion and minosha 
at this point right now on global do not deserve your stones guys it's got to be a skip it's got to be a pass for me okay but i'm gonna be summoning but i'm saying just like if you want my recommendation obviously i want you guys to come to your own conclusions right you should make your own decision about what to do with your stones but <sighs> despite the amazing unit despite the amazing animations and the ost and all that stuff the smart thing to do would be to skip Okay, so that is the video there, guys. Of course, I still wanted to give you guys the information so that you can decide for yourself, but I, I truly believe that people should be skipping this banner. Um, but there you go, man. That is today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I will see you tonight for the summoning stream. When the banner drops, we'll do probably, you know, three to five hundred stones on stream see how it goes and hopefully get them if we don't then it is what it is uh but there you go guys i'm out thank you so much for watching and uh, of course if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad um Join the Tiger Squad now and also hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.